Are you someone who loves meditating? Well, in this video, I wanna break down my review of the Muse 2 and how I think it could benefit you. And if you haven't already, make sure to press the subscribe button so you get notified when videos just like this come out in the future. One of the most advantageous tools is the ability to tend the mind, the mind like a garden. And I talk about this all the time because it is quite literally one of my favorite things to explore. One of the problems with most advice around tending the mind like a garden is that the practical is much harder than the theoretical. And so one of the things that I've been actively doing, whether it's with the heart math or the Muse 2, is using quantifiable measurements to see and help guide me to tending my mind just like a garden. So the Muse 2 is a very interesting headband. It's something that allows you just like an EEG to see the chaos in the mind and when you actually start to think during meditation based on the noise that comes through the app as you start to think. So what ends up happening is when your mind goes chaotic, the environment in the app increases in volume and gets more chaotic, just like the mind reminding you to return back to the nasal breathing and to the heart space which then will allow the environment to calm down as your mind calms down. So I wanted to show you real quick what the Muse looks like, what it looks like when you put it on, and uh, how easy it is to activate in the app. So first off, this is what comes in the case. Uh, the case doesn't come with all Muses, but it is definitely recommended if you wanna keep this safe. Then we have the Muse right here. So very simple, very easy. It connects to your phone right away. This is an easy to use piece of equipment. You simply press the power button right here and then hook it directly to your head Make sure to wipe off any grease if you have a greasy forehead since that will change the electrical conductivity in the system. Once it's on, that's when you would head on over to the app. So I'm gonna walk you real quick through just showing you the basics of the Muse app. So again, my phone screen's always red. I like to make sure my phone is red. It makes it so the eyes aren't bad. But real quickly, there are multiple different settings that you can choose from, whether that is the type of meditation, the environment, or the time. Doesn't matter what you choose. This is the awesome part. It is so simple to use. You're simply gonna press start session. It's gonna to connect to the device. It's gonna calibrate. And once it does that, you're already on, ready to meditate. So what are the benefits that I found from the Muse? Well, first off, I know my triggers and my thinking a lot more. One of the things that I really get from microdosing, video linked above, is that I can start to watch the watcher much easier. And systems and technology, just like Muse or the heart math, also video linked above, allow me to calm the mind down, but also understand when I'm going to go into a chaotic potential or thought pattern that then I need to pull back and watch what is going on all around. It's definitely something that's hard to do, but using technology like the Muse 2 allows me to do it much more easy. Second, as most people who know me know, I am someone who loves biohacking. So anything that can increase my potential by one to 3%, I do like to try because the reality is if it doesn't hurt you, there's no reason not to try it if you have the money and it's something that you can do. I love the Muse too. It's greatly helped me in my morning meditations. And it's something that I think most people could benefit from, especially if they have a hard time knowing when they need to step back and watch the chaos of their mind. If you have the Muse too, I'd love for you to drop below what you think of it. Otherwise, make sure to subscribe so you get notified when videos just like this come out in the future.